Hello everyone and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, this is a game that I saw at PAX South and it has since seen its full release. Um, I bought it as soon as it came out, uh, so, you know, all that interesting stuff. I'm on a boat. Edith Finch. I can only imagine that that's who I'm playing as. Up. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Oh. Wow. Man, look at this road. Really broken up. So this is, uh, this is what a lot of people would call a walking simulator. I lived here until I was 11, Ooh. but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Really? Yeah, a lot of people would call this a walking simulator, but I was very taken aback by it whenever I got it. Um, it is available on PC, and it is also on, um, uh, PlayStation 4. What do we have here? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Oh, man. Well, something tells me they never saw their, uh... They never got paid. Good chances that, um... The power was turned off. Maybe the I water, too. I back since my brother Lewis's funeral. What's that? This property is protected via video surveillance. How? Where? I don't see no cameras. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, I'm definitely intrigued. This is actually a section of the game that I've played through, uh, albeit months and months ago. Last time I touched this was January, it's early May for me. I don't know when this is- this video will go out for that matter, so, yeah. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Hoof prints? You saying that people come out here on horseback, or that, like, elk? And- and deer? Oh no, there you go. Hoof prints. Well, okay then. What is it about- Deer and elk. It's like we can't show people because we can't get them right. The but truth deer and is, elk? Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Oh. Okay, so. I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. <laughs> oh boy. That is a sight. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. One old car. This place is freaking weird. Lots of foxglove up here. Missing. I happen to know that this is foxglove. Pretty certain it is, um, from my time spent in uh, Cyrodiil, Oblivion. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Plastic chairs. The decking is actually in pretty good shape. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. What have we got in here? Looking in... I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Surprising lack of dust in there. Carrie's potting mix. <laughs> okay then. Like a 
garage. So it's been, what, seven years? Well, I mean, it works. <laughs> Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. The mystery has really got me intrigued. What the heck is this? Looks like a mounting board. Children's kiddie pool. Fishing rods. For the first time in years. Yeah, seven years. This game is out in 2017. That's damn. Felt like I was home. This place would be completely blasted if it had been left vacant. But instead vacant. of a family, there were just memories of one. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. In loving memory of Lewis Finch, December 27th, 1988 to November 21st, 2010, beloved brother to Edith, son of Dawn, great-grandson to Eddie, memorial service. Would make him one year younger than I. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Lewis. Like, specifically how he died. That is a lot of salmon. Seven years down the line, it would probably Nothing still be Nothing in the good. house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. This place is really weird. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara along with the rest of the house. Why is Bigfoot in the background? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. What else are we looking at here? Oh, they've got a flat screen up in here. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Sank? What? Really like what they're doing with the text here. Lots and lots and lots of uh, books around here. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Why did you leave? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Huh. Leftover Chinese still. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's, um, I guess we can check upstairs. Maybe we unlock the front door. Wait, My mom this? wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Milton? Who the heck was Milton? It's a classic oil lamp, too. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Even boots. What the heck is up with this place? I saw the same board out in the... It's a peephole. 
I saw the same thing out in the garage. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. This is the library. I wonder if I'll ever get in there. It's obviously been sealed up. Tasting Thailand. Cross Creek Cookery. Now what the crap? This is so weird. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Great Grandma Edie. Calvin and Sam. 1950 to 61. My Grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Children's room, old man's room. What the hell? This is so bizarre. 76 to 77. Gregory, that is a very short life. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Imagine finding out otherwise. Why is it the bathroom that's sealed up with the name of... Oop, didn't mean to do that. A Dreamer's Tales. Sven and Eddie. You know, I was almost named Sven. My mom put a stop to that. It was my dad's idea. Eddie. 1917 to 2010. Um, same year that Lewis, Sven Hofstad Finch, 1915 to 1964. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Oh. So this was her room. They say Eddie, but it's Edith. Wow, we look at all this. The heck? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Why would she do that? Barbara, Barbara, 1944 to 1960. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. That's harsh. Ah, it's really easy to end up going back into that uh, that um, peephole thing. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Odin. My friend Bigfoot. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. <laughs> Man. Wait a minute. 37 to 47. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. A lot of people in this family are dying at young AIDS. Uh, yup. <laughs> young AIDS. Young ages. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Trolley. Or, well, a train car? 
Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. No way. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Things just keep on getting weirder. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Molly's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Wonder what happened to the gerbil. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. This is, this is really, really weird. It's a little squid. Or, well, jellyfish, I guess. Thing. That is slightly creepy. Seashells and everything. 37 to 47. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Oh boy. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. My Halloween candy was all gone. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Jeez. thought about it but didn't <laughs> oh she's got her own bathroom I kept eating and eating oh that'll make you sick yeah yeah no wonder I ate a lot of things that night Those are plastic, aren't they? Ugh. This poor child. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat! Holy crap! I... what? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. <laughs> Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. What the? <laughs> I've turned into a cat and I'm chasing down a bird!
I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Where'd she go? Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about. I gobbled about her up. Ooh. And I guess suddenly, I... I was an owl. What? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, rabbits! Ah, I got one! Woo. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Oh, I swallowed him up, God. and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. What on earth? I'm actually re-experiencing. I'm a rabbit. I'm actually re-experiencing this um, since Pax. I played through this part already, but it's so strange. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? This this still makes us about as. This is as clear as mud. Ooh. A shark rolling down a hillside. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Yeah, I see that thing down there. Juicy seals. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Oof. This is carnal. Come okay, here, you seal. I'm gonna get you. Grab that <sighs> tight. But I was so hungry. I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh my god, I'm a... I'm a sea monster? Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Is that a Christmas song I hear? I was big, but I moved real quiet. I can't believe what I'm doing. This is... This is actually kind I of unnerving. Stop, but also, I didn't. Passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. What on earth? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Okay. Oh my word, 
This is so strange. Oh, I'm up out of a toilet. I got closer Wait a and closer. Oh my god. I thought it looked familiar. What am I about to do? All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Oh, man. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Man. That's a really big family tree. Okay. Well, um... I guess that's a good place to stop for one episode. Um, this is what remains of Edith Finch. I'm gonna enjoy playing the rest of this game. Oh my word. Um, if you enjoyed it, please be certain to like, favorite, subscribe, you know, uh, link it out to your friends as well. Um, and uh, for certain, check the game out yourself because this is definitely, definitely interesting. And I think that it's completely worth it. So anyway, um, until the next episode, I'm William Strife. This is What Remains of Edith Finch. We just started. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.